Hi everyone and welcome to The Good Woo. This is a guided meditation that will help you get to know your internal mother and your internal father. If you've been watching my videos and teachings, you will know that there is no better time than the present moment to learn how to parent yourself. And an easy and beautiful, soulful way we can do this is to get to know these inner archetypes that each of us have, the internal mother and the internal father. Now in this meditation, these may present as very similar to your own mother and father in this lifetime, but more often than not, they present as something quite different from who we experience our parents to be in this lifetime. So keep your mind open, your heart open, and your eyes closed. Get in a place where you can lie down, or if you can't lie down, if you're sitting, please find a way to keep your back straight, your spine straight, and your back supported and your feet firmly on the earth. If you're lying down, please turn your palms up. If you're sitting down also, please turn your palms up on your thighs. This is a position of receptivity, and that is what we are wanting to do to really receive the healing. Now this kind of work, this internal archetype work, will transform your outside world. So I wanna make sure that you take care of yourself after this meditation as well, and you can use this meditation as many times as you want. Make sure you drink lots of water, and if you are called upon to rest after this, please do. You will be getting urgings, deep intuitive insights as you connect deeper and deeper to your internal mother and father. And if you want that relationship to get stronger and stronger, it's important that you listen to the guidance that you receive. So, let's get in that comfortable position. And don't worry, if you are disturbed in any way or interrupted, you can go right back into this space that I'm gonna show you how to enter now. If you've watched any of the other guided meditation videos, then you know that we begin by breathing deeply into our belly. Breathe in deeply and let it out with a sigh. Our first few breaths, as you're listening to my voice, will be vocalized as we inhale deeply into the belly. And we exhale with a sigh or any other sound you may need to make. If you're particularly frustrated, feeling resentful or angry, you may need to make louder sounds than a sigh. Please do that. Let your vocal cords be free. Let the throat chakra open. Inhale deeply into the belly. And exhale out. Any nervousness that you may have doing something like this that may be new for you, inhale deeply through the belly. Now I want you to imagine that there is a tube of light that goes down from your belly into the center of the earth. And you can imagine this tube to be any color that you wish. Oftentimes when I'm doing this, I see it as white, but today I'm seeing it as a green color. So I just go with that. You go with the colors that present themselves. This is your highest self, your soul speaking to you. So just observe the colors. And as you inhale through the belly, as you exhale, I want you to imagine that any anger, resentment, frustration, sadness, grief, disappointment around your earthly parents, you're now sending down into the center of Mother Gaia, the great mother of us all. You may even see this as images, pictures, memories that you're sending down through this cord. Go ahead and say goodbye to them and let them drop deeply into the center of the earth. Inhale deeply in the belly and exhale any negative thoughts, feelings, memories that need to pass on so that you can open up your heart center, letting it all go into the center of the earth. And now I want you to imagine that the area around your heart is filled with green emerald light. You could see that as a square or a circle or a bright gleaming star. But specifically the heart center holds an emerald vibration, a green vibration, a healing light, 
of unconditional love that emanates from each and every one of our hearts if we allow it to. So I want you to see that now in your own heart center. And I want you to imagine that you get very small and that you enter this bubble of brilliant green emerald light. And there is a door that appears before you. I want you to notice, what does that door look like? What is it made of? Is there writing? Is there a knob or a handle? Just acknowledge what comes before you in your mind's eye. And now I want you to imagine that you open or push through that door or that the door opens for you. And you enter now your sacred space. This is your heart center. Some people could call it the fifth dimensional earth. We don't need to name it necessarily, but this is your sacred place and only love and light guides you here. Now, as you step through, instantly, I want you to create the intention to meet your internal mother and your internal father. And just notice what materializes before you in your mind's eye. Perhaps only one of them appears, perhaps both. This will be different for everybody. And if only one appears, you can do this again and ask for the other to appear. Whatever has presented before you, they are now going to lead you to a sacred space that will be for you and them alone. Let them guide you. So this heart-centered space often presents itself as beautiful scenes of nature, but buildings can also appear and actually the more visits you make to this internal landscape, the more it develops and increases in its specificity. So today, just notice where they take you. Maybe it is a circle of sacred stones or a cabin or a home. Maybe it's your childhood home or a cave. Just notice. And also, I want you to notice, are there any animals around? And just notice the colors that are around as well. Now one or both of them are leading you to a sacred space. And although you are safe in the space that you've entered in general, your heart space, they are bringing you to a place of even more safety, of even more warmth, of even more goodness. So follow them. Once you get to this space, you will sit with these archetypes of the internal mother and father. And you now have the opportunity to listen. And I want you now to listen deeply with every cell in your body to what they have to say. This is their general message to you now. Listen deeply. You may want to pause this video as you're experiencing this time of listening. And when you have listened, you can now begin to ask questions. So some of the first questions we can ask our internal mother are, what do I need to be eating? How can I take care of myself more? What do I need to let go of in my life? What can I do to take better care of myself? At this point, you can also ask them your name. What is their name? Do they have a special name for you? Some questions you can ask your internal father. How can I better structure my time? What do I need to see? to more quickly achieve my goals? How can I increase my ability to be disciplined in my life? What do I need to let go of? What do I need to begin doing? What new habits can I start? What is holding me back now? And we listen. 
Now, if they have presented together as an internal mother and father, it doesn't necessarily mean that they work well together. And this is where you get to become a peacemaker. So sometimes clients have observed that the internal mother and father do not get along at all. And this is our opportunity to create peace within ourselves in this deeply internal and private way. So if there is any conflict between these two and you notice it energetically, ask them, what is causing this rift? And then we listen. And then you can ask them, what can I do to help mend this rift between the two of you so that you can be working together for us all? And we listen. Now at any time during this video, you can pause as you go deeper into these questions and answers with the internal mother and father. And as you are ready to end the meditation, you will feel a sense of completion, a sense of satisfaction. This does not mean this is the last time you go to these parts of yourself. Indeed, as you learn to do this kind of meditation, you can go to them in a half second to ask for guidance when you need nurturing, when you need support. But for now, as we end this initial meditation, your internal mother and father will give you a gift. This gift is a symbol, and it may not make sense now, but it will in the days to come, and it will eventually. So take this gift, and because this is an energetic experience, you can actually take the gift and put it into your energetic body this part of you that is in this heart-centered space. You may want to put it on your crown, the top of your head. You may want to put it into your brain, into your throat chakra, into your heart, into your stomach, wherever. It may present as a piece of jewelry that you can just energetically be wearing on this alternate dimensional level. Accept whatever it is and know that its meaning will expand the more you take part in these kind of meditations. And so I don't know if you can hear the crow in the background, and I know there's been a lot of background noise during this meditation, but the crow is a symbol of the melding of dimensions, the melding of time, the past, present, and future, all being one. And that is exactly what you are experiencing as you do these meditations. This is quantum healing. This is powerful work. And you are literally changing the external world that you experience when you go into these deep places. So thank yourself and thank this mother and father that you have met today. And if it's just one, know that you can come back and meet the other. And whenever you need them, they are now here. The link has been made. And so you can leave your sacred space. Go back into the green bubble. You can close the door or you can leave the door open. And now just come back into your body. You can wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a deep stretch and a deep inhale and a deep exhale with sound. And now I encourage you to journal about what you experienced and to drink a big glass of water immediately. And today, really take an action step on the guidance that you've been given. When we enter these realms, it's important that we remind our physical body that it is time to change. And so the action steps help solidify these changes into the third dimension. So thank you all so much for viewing and thank you for liking this video. 
and thank you for the thank you donations. And thank you, most importantly, for taking the time to work on yourself. Because if each of us do this work, the world will continue to change for the better. We are the ones we've been waiting for. And this is the work that it takes to create a world of peace and unity, of healing and of love. I also wanna thank the crow for their presence during this experience. Much love to you all.